Hello, everybody, and welcome to Adam Zombie Smasher. So, this is a game I've been playing a little bit of lately. It's the new game from the guys at Blendo Games. And if you remember, last year they came out with Flotilla, which was kind of a surprise hit. Adam Zombie Smasher is not really in the same vein as that. This is uh, more of a tower defense game, but it's got some subtle twists on the genre, let's put it that way. Um, basically, you play the role as the the role of an evacuation commander, essentially. So there's been a zombie outbreak in your province or country, what have you, and you're trying to evacuate all the cities or as many people from those cities as you can before inevitably the increasing numbers of zombies just overrun you and you have to evacuate. Uh, essentially leaving all the people to die. But um, it's cool because you have a number of things that you can use to accomplish these objectives, including, you can see on the screen right now, we've got an evac helicopter and an artillery strike. This is because we're still very, very early in the game, and I did this deliberately so I could show you, you know, the basal level of Adam Zombie Smasher. Later on, you get other things, uh, you know, infantry, squadrons, stuff like that. You can nuke the city from orbit, if that's your prerogative. So, yeah, when I said it was a tower defense game, I meant it, but it's a little bit different because death comes a lot faster than it does in those games. This is a lot more fast-paced than your average tower defense game. Rather than talk about it, let me just show you. So you can see this is the main gameplay screen that we have when we're playing the game. There's two phases, a planning phase and an action phase. So you always start with the planning phase where you place your, uh, your evac helicopters and all of your you know, defensive equipment. And the goal that you're trying to accomplish is rescuing a certain number of people. You can see we've got to rescue 30 and the population is 250. So we've got to get about one-seventh of the population. I guess we're closer to one-eighth of the population in here. So what we're going to do is place an evacuation helicopter, and generally you want to place this as far away from the zombies as you can. But still you want to pick a spot where a lot of people can get to it before they, uh, you know, get chased down and eaten. This level's actually proven to be kind of a challenge for me in the past, so we'll see, see how well I do here. This, this seems like a good spot for me. I wish I had more defensive things, but all I have is this artillery strike because we're so early in the game. So let's just place this here. It really doesn't matter where you place it, provided that... Things that you want to shoot are going to be outside of this uh, red circle. Because if you shoot there, you have the risk of damaging yourself. So we'll just put this here, and then we'll get on to the, uh, the action phase. And during the action phase, all we can do is change the, uh, the landing zone of the helicopter and actually manually fire the artillery. So let's get started with that. So when we hit done, the action phase will start, and the helicopter will fly in and then send off a signal that will uh, kind of alert everybody around it, as you can see, to where the helicopter is. So we're gonna fire a couple of artillery strikes using the right-click button. And keep in mind, the artillery takes a long time to prepare to fire. So, inevitably, uh, you want to do that well in advance. You kind of want to lead your target, so to speak. And you can see I've already rescued 30 out of 30. Which is nice, because uh, that means basically I'm, I'm running... I've already completed the mission, let's put it that way. But we'll, we'll do our best to uh, continue firing on these zombies. Because the more people you save, the more points you get. And there's actually kind of a, a campaign running total of which side has more points, zombies or humans. So we're going to try to do the best we can with what we've got. And you can see when the landing zone gets hot, aka when zombies come to attack you, um, you have to take off. There's only one person left in the city, you can see them up there. Uh, I don't feel like I have a good chance of taking them out, but... Or of taking out the zombies and rescuing this one guy in the middle here. But, uh, we'll see. Maybe. No, unfortunately not. But anyway, that was a pretty good run on that level. Even though I did only get, a uh, bronze. So you can see with all of our equipment, or all of our resources, let's put it that way, you get experience the, uh, the better that they do. So with that, you can level up and actually make them better. So when our artillery levels up, we can lower the amount of time it requires to reload. We can uh, lower the amount of time it takes from us clicking to when it fires. So there's a little bit of an RPG element going on here, too. Unfortunately, this is the victory track for the campaign, and you can see the zombies are pretty much handing it to me hard. <coughs> but having beaten that level, we've unlocked the next resource that we can use. We've got the uh, this infantry squad here. So we can rename them if we want to. What should we name them? Let's name them the Shitting Dick Nipples. Now, if I could only learn how to spell, this would go a lot better. <clears throat> Alright, and then we'll just sign them. 
so they'll join our posse. And then we'll uh, go to another zombie outbreak as soon as the victory track finishes uploading, or updating. So you can see every time we beat a level we move forward a month, and when we move forward in this month we get new properties, so in this month we have shorter daytime. More zombies come at night, so that's that's kind of an important thing to keep in note. So where should we go? Let's, let's go to... I don't know how to pronounce any of these things. I should have taken Spanish in school. Kitabesu. Let's go to Kitabesu. Alright, so here we're going to do pretty much exactly the same thing, but I'm going to put the evac helicopter maybe more down here. Place the artillery pretty much wherever. Let's just put it here. And then we can place our infantry squad as well, and all these are going to do is shoot at the closest zombie that they see. So if we can put it at a spot where they see uh, a lot of zombies, that would be really helpful. Let's put it, uh... Where's our, where's our choke point gonna be here? Maybe... Here? Or here? Hmm. No, let's just put it here and we'll, we'll see how that works. And then we'll enter the done phase and basically just control the artillery and see how things go. You can see we've got to rescue 40 this time. Oh, could be tough, but we'll see how it works. So let's take, use our artillery to take out these zombies that our infantry won't get a chance to shoot. And we've got to get basically two loads on the helicopter here now. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem, but they are coming in pretty fast. My infantry squad is not, not doing as well as I hoped they would. You can see the landing zone is kind of in a rough spot, and my artillery is taking a long time to reload. But I still think I'll be okay, because you can see the, the sheer amount of people at the, uh, at the landing zone. So as long as I can kill this one zombie and then get in there. And you can see now it's night time, so more zombies come. I really think the best way to... Uh, I think I might have accidentally just bombed my all of my remaining people. <laughs> all right, well, you know that's a good way, as good way to end the uh, to end the quick look as any. Hope you guys got a chance to see what Adam Zombie Smasher is all about. The game is available on Steam right now, and there's also a demo on Steam. So if it looks like your kind of game, definitely go ahead and check it out. Another pretty solid title from the guys at Blendo Games. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.